Welcome back everyone to Let's Play World Waves 2 as Germany, episode number 68. Uh, the mission in this video is finish this battle. And I think we're on the cusp of being able to really accelerate things because um, it's get we're getting towards the end. I mean, as <laughs> in kind of a weird, sad way, there's almost no British ships left that we have to pause for. Um, that's right, I mean... This bar floor is she sinking. We need to go one minute to recalibrate everything. So I'm not. Gonna, I'm still gonna hold on. I'm really gonna hold on to the airplanes that we still have available in our like central carrier group. This is kind of like the cap carrier group, even though I didn't. I treat them. I mean, they are identical, right? In in loadout. So, um, but in like my own role-playing sense, I like to imagine that Admiral Torturpitz Jr. is controlling from here, and this is the one that's coordinating strikes and such, and this one is more, has like kind of a, a more support role um, attached to the, the surface fleet. Anyway, uh, we have these two unidentified ships, which was the, the cliffhanger we ended on. This constant is probably in bad shape. I think we're okay to advance a minute at least without, I don't think anything is gonna happen in a minute that's gonna be devastating. Of course, we'll find out. <laughs> oh, okay, well, there's not, stuff that is not good is happening. Actually, a lot of stuff is happening. Is this, oh, so this is actually from the torpedo bombers. Now, Oxhoft, is a Stoschel swine who has, <laughs> wonderful, who has torpedo defense system level two. And it's actually paying off in a big way here. Unfortunately, what this means is this scout division is now no longer capable of scouting. Well, the Blitzgeschutz, which is kind of really a, an appropriate name, can go on on her own. So I will detach the Oxhoft even though she's completely fine, her maximum speed is down to 16. No, wait. Yes. So she, it, we are definitely gonna have to pull her off, bring her into the, in the ah, there's another fly in here. Every time I record, this is a completely different day. Anyway, so the Blitzka shoots is gonna still charge on forward. There's probably more than one. It, I don't think these are carriers then, but even if they are, there's there are probably more than one. So we'll send one lone. <laughs> I got it. Did I? No. Sorry. I hope that wasn't too loud. But you know, the little. It's like one of those little fruit fly things. It's, it's just gotta die. Uh, okay. Anyway, let's uh, push on another minute. Oh, what I wanted to check is oh, we gotta make sure we're going fast this time. You are officially sinking. Okay. So we are all good, all over the place. Everything is fine. We're just trying to see what this is. Okay. I also should check check out the. Hurt destroyed. Wow, the Constance is not given up without a fight. Ribble. Okay, Ribble. That's a good Ribble to destroy. I don't think this is one that's already sinking. Took in, take one five inch shell. Yeah, it's definitely not sinking. This where is already sinking and we're just barely avoiding it. Uh, Boins, it's, all the Boins are sinking. Constance took a four inch shell. Prince of Wales took a 17 inch. Oh, so that means that everyone who was on like don't fire is now choosing their own target at random. This indefatigable is surely sinking. We want we want these two to actually focus their fire on the indefatigable. That's the one. So it just gets you to switch targets as well. And let's make sure that both of these are targeting the appropriate ship as well, even though she's very likely going to be sinking. Um, we'll curl, we'll, uh, we will curl them further to the east as well, just to track down this last indefatigable. But basically mission accomplished all over the place. Yeah, this one's dead in the water. And probably just, uh, yep, officially dead. So we'll switch targets again. Why not? Track down the last indefatigable. And... Go up squad max, because we... <gasps> it is! Okay, well, flat tops have been spotted. There's just no reason to wait any longer. We are going to give the order to launch. Let's see what the um, 21 has available. They have some escorts. Actually, 
Escorts make a lot of sense right now. Let's get these guys to escort, to ready up. Four fighters is not a whole lot, and we'll get 11 more to come in as escorts. Oh, wait. Actually, what I want to do is change these guys to cap. Can I not do that? I don't think we have a... I don't think we have a cap right now. We just have, we have escorts. Can I not manually assign a cap? First of all, I, I like somewhat understand if that's the case. So mission none, I'm going to rely on them to just be a combat air patrol. So I'm not gonna give them any orders. I'm gonna hope that manually, God, yeah, I don't think they're gonna do it. So is this just a bug? What what happened here? Get close to this airbase to target location. Uh, oh, I see. You can actually click on one and then find the closest airbase. Um, it's not ideal, but I guess the thing we can do is just send them in. Okay, wait, who's ready? The group of four is ready. Let's send these guys in here and launch immediately. I'm just gonna try to go attack whatever cap they might have overhead. Okay, next. Since there's no torpedo bombers available, really, not really anyway. Now we're gonna get to this group who is ready also to launch. Oh, it's gonna be beautiful. <laughs> Unready, ready, ready. That's, this is a big group. And we're not, we're also not gonna tell these guys to coordinate. We're just gonna get them to go. I'm gonna try to keep them off. In fact, I'll manually force them to uh, steam further east. So we try to avoid the ships here. I don't want them targeting anything but these carriers. In fact, let's be a little bit even more extreme about it. Something like this. Launch strike, and then let's get this group to. Actually, they're st they're launching right now. Maybe. Battle twenty nine. I don't know which one battle group twenty nine is, but anyway, uh, indefatigable is getting raked by tons of five inch shells. She's already going down. It doesn't matter. Uh, the arena von Hol by von Hohen Zolorn is not supposed to be targeting the Prince of Wales. What else should she be targeting? I mean, how about these constants? By the way, oh good, we are targeting. So you just hold fire indefinitely until we give you an appropriate target because there's really no appropriate target right now. Ooh, 20 dive bombers. Wait, 29, oh, this is the one being targeted. Okay, well, let's get some destroyers back to cover for these this group. And yeah, just head in as close as you can towards these guys. They can provide a little bit of cover. Oxoft going this way, and you will keep pursuing this way. Okay, good, so we actually wanna shift our fire as soon as we can over to these. Okay, squad max, we're going up to 27. We are not gonna fire at this Constance much more as soon as we, I mean, basically as soon as we hit it a few more times and it's sinking, it must be close, but it's still firing, so yeah, look at this. Still <laughs> putting a, Doing a number to the poor Gotterfunken here, who's lost two turrets now. Damn. But she's still uh, she's still capable enough. Oh god, we yeah, that was the wrong one. Let's get her to turn away even, because we have other people coming in who can do a lot of really bad things to the Constance. Uh, yeah. Okay. I don't know if these guys are launching. They're moving in, in more or less the right direction, so it's, I'm not too worried about it, but I, they might end up hitting like the indefatigables, <laughs> which I don't want them to do. Mm. I believe that this has, this Ribble has launched all its torpedoes, so I'm not too worried, but just to be extra safe, let's set a ship target as, oh wait, 
as that wrong, that one right in front of you. <laughs> Why don't you guys attack that? Get these guys to kind of close up a little bit. Sternbringer can just head east. Um, I think we sent somebody at a ship somewhere. Oh, the Mars sank. Okay, that's fantastic. Wow, you still have a lot of speed. Yeah, it's only superstructure which was damaged. Well, we'll look at our do, do like 29 or so. Eh, you know what? Just squad max. Why not? Go over here and you can launch your torpedoes against something else which hasn't which has not sunk yet. Okay, so bar floor. Ugh, Carl Donuts, don't do it. Donuts, do not. Don't. Donuts, don't. Don't fire. Okay. Hannibal, um, also Sternbringer, okay? Sternbringer, I mean, this is probably okay. How many torpedoes do you have left? You have your four port sides, perfect. Okay, we're gonna have you make a run at the Hannibal, and yeah, actually, you can go ahead and use your ammunition, since we're gonna keep you out of the fight. You have half flotation damage already, which for a Sternbringer is a lot. They're pretty beefy ships, so to see 50% damage on them, like structure damage, I'm okay with. And that's this is what I'm expecting to see on those. They're so beefy that I'm not expecting to see too much damage. Now, if we can get the Kaiser Penguin and the Bismarck to target in on this indefatigable, which we have hit at least once, I, I what I might want to do is just have these two pursue directly after the carriers. I'm imagining those carriers can outrun us. However, if they have to make any turns or whatever, ah, shit. The wind actually works out really in their favor. They can actually both retreat and launch aircraft at the same time. Didn't see that coming. Oh well, okay, so let's just keep moving. Keep moving, keep moving. Okay, here's the dive bombing attack. No bomb hits, this is on the G87. Why are they attacking that? Strange target. I mean, if they ended up hitting it, they probably could destroy it, but uh, heavy anti-aircraft actually damage one aircraft with only eight, that's amazing. This thing has no other guns. Wow. So 16 divided by two is eight. Is that how we're doing it now? One gun is destroyed, but there's three available. So I would have expected a hemi, uh, combined AA of 12, not eight. Don't really understand that. Won't pretend to. No, let's get rid of this. Now we can look at this list. Um, this is still the wrong one. Amazon, everyone's Hold fire on torpedoes is completely reset as well, which is unfortunate, but okay 17 inch hit on the one that matters So she's probably She's already lo lost two of her turrets, but she's firing her rear turrets right now, which are both active Constance another 16 inch hit. That's great Supposedly this is sinking, but she's still giving us hell Okay, uh, four inch hit not, not anything we can worry about there the where, this one, I think is still active. Nope, she's not. Ribble, probably not still active. Amazon is still active. It'd be nice to take her out. And again, the Sturmbringer, we're giving her free reign to just do whatever she wants against the Hannibal. Target practice. Okay, let's move on. Yes, detach. Okay, the Rhine took a hit and her turret was destroyed. Now this is the four, four year Drakas. So they do have the, um, probably only five. Well, they still have five inches of, I'm a little impressed actually. That, that's pretty good that they can destroy the turret. So they only have a thousand pound bombs and we have the 1400 pound bombs. So um, yeah, but still one aircraft was destroyed for the exchange. At least we got something out of it. <laughs> Constance took another 16 inch hit. She's dead in the water. I just don't, and that actually destroyed another turret. So let's actually get this group to stop firing for 10 minutes. At least we don't want them to waste any more ammunition on those. The Schnell, uh, Schneller Junga, Junga uh, I didn't notice that she's getting close. She's probably, I mean, the red dot means she got hit. Yep. But that's dead in the water, so what we're gonna do is quickly launch our torpedoes and then flee the scene. I didn't intend to do this. I don't. I wasn't really tracking on our destroyers, obviously. So, um, we still wanna make sure we destroy this one, eliminate that. Kaiser Penguin, these guys should be doing a good enough job on it though. 
Although I don't see any hits this turn. Not with the big guns. Okay, for now, let's just continue as as we are right now. It looks like the aircraft which were approaching the arena, Von Hohenzollern and her the Rhine. Oh, the Rhine did take the hit. Okay, so they picked the right target, essentially. 19 dive bombers. Okay, that, those are, I believe, shore-based. Uh, turret disabled. Who, who hit you? Wow, that's a heck of a shot. Hannibal, yeah, we know. Amazon, that's quite good to do damage to her. Um, I'm still looking for it. There it is. All right, another 17-inch shell. And another 17-inch shell. That's the good stuff. Okay, good. Very happy to see that. Now, let's get you to launch your torpedoes at the Constance. I think she's dead in the water, right? We'll just launch a spread anyway. It looks like you already have, but you know what? We're going to um, enhance that with even more torpedoes because if we can take out that Constance, it'll actually be a, it will be a big deal. It sounds kind of silly, but that's slowing down my light cruisers from picking apart their destroyers. So <laughs> it is a big deal. It's, it's ammunition I don't want to waste on uh, from my battleships. Okay. And we still have another destroyer which can slip by after that and yada yada yada. Again, point of this mission is to try to move a little bit faster as well. To do our best at least. So the younger launched torpedoes, that is a nice hearty spread. Uh Hannibal, K okay, Boyne, also irrelevant. Hannibal Amazon, that's a good hit. Gotcha Funkin has really she's a warrior. She's fought hard in this mission. Um, we did hit the correct Indy. She's now on fire. That's really good news. Yeah, so who, I don't know who's targeting her, but that's amazing. Fantastic. I'm wonderful. Oh, uh, you launched your torpedoes. Didn't really need you to do that, but this Ribble has actually just kind of made it through the lines, isn't, hasn't she? Yeah. I haven't been tracking the Ribble hits. Oh, yeah, but there's three from the Alloy. The Alloy is tracking her. Yeah, we're letting her just steam right by all over our battleships, but the Alloy has eyes on her, and that's good. That's Her new role is just to make sure this ship does not make it to our carriers. She's pretty close, but I guess the Turpits herself is the final, the, the final guard, the ultimate boss, hopefully to prevent anybody from getting there. And what do you know? Our... Yeah, our carriers are, la are now launching. So, I, I think, was that just cap? Oh, that is just cap. Okay, well then just keep moving to the east because it'll give you a better angle on these uh, carriers, I think. Okay, that was another turn. Let's see, Constance took five inch hit, good. She is doing the right thing. She's turning into the line of the torpedoes, or away from it in this case, but just parallels the important thing. Uh, Constance was did take two five-inch shells. These are probably doing some good stuff. Uh, Boing, it's already sinking. And one meaningful hit. She only has one turret left. And I'm sure she's not long for this world. Got oh, good, still taking out this Amazon. That's really good. How big 1500 so it shouldn't take long i hope all right moving on we're actually tracking down this is what the Gotter fugans mission is right now is to track down these carriers to corner them with the help of these battleships and now that you've done your job let's turn you south and get you let's like even deploy smoke and then we'll get you to speed on by and help out with the carriers eventually so all, I, I don't care about the, the further north carriers. I believe that they are there. I think we are facing more than just two. But I'm not going to concern myself with that because I, I like a bird in the hand is worth two in the bush. Blucher. So somehow amazingly, this Ribble, I, I, I mean, I guess it was the Ribble has apparently reloaded it. It could have reloaded its torpedoes, actually. Yeah, maybe that is what happened. Um, Hannibal. 
No, sorry. Uh, irrelevant. Who cares about the animal? The two, two more on the Amazon. Boy, is she dead stopped? She's on fire. She's five knots. She's probably dead. Very good news. Ribble, this ribble. Eloy's still on her. Another ribble, irrelevant. Where, which is not irrelevant, took a six inch shot. That's good. Arminius, that's very good. Have you guys had, have you had due north so you can actually get more of a broadside against her? Didn't think about doing that, but yeah, that's what we should do. Um, Indy, uh, oh good, another ribble. So the Narod from pretty far away landed that shot. Indy, Indy, Indy. Okay, one more 17 inch shell on the Indy, that's good. And make that two more. So was there previous hits? No, so just those two, I mean, that's not, that's not, it's, not, it's a big thing. <laughs> Anyways, let's keep pushing, let's keep pushing. We can get this mission finished in this episode as long as we keep pushing. Good, so targeting the correct indie, another 16 inch shell, barfler irrelevant, ribble, good. So DD86, G86 also contributing in a big way now. Um, Uh, another 17 inch shell landing on the Indy. She's gonna be going down any moment now. Two more on the Constance. Very good, Kaiser Penguin. It looks like we're full on bombarding her. Ammunition is still good. When we get down to 50%, I will probably call them off. Cause yeah, four inch shell. I'm pretty sure that Constance is already sinking. Wait a second. Did we miss with all those torpedoes? You gotta be kidding me. That was like an unbreakable wall of torpedoes. <laughs> okay, I guess it can happen. Another 17 inch ship. Yeah, I mean this this poor ship is just doomed. Just doomed, it's just as doomed as her sister ship. There was no escape though, but there was no escape from the very beginning with our airplanes, so. And you know what, at this point, with the cap and all that, maybe I should be breaking up these destroyers and actually getting them. I think, okay, so two, I'm gonna get these two to not screen any further. They are going to go line abreast, I mean line ahead, full full steam ahead, and they're gonna help with the carriers. I don't know, it might take a while for them to get there, but that's the mission. So now things are really kind of starting to settle down. We know we know that all these other things are not as important. This Constance still surprises me that she's not officially dead. Another hit on the Indy. So two 17 inch shells. Seems like we hit land at least, oh, um, at least one hit. Oh yeah, Barfler is about to take another couple of torpedoes. Ah, Carrier Division 21. Oh, and Arminius was hit by a torpedo? Where'd that come from? Wow, okay, let's get her immediately. I think it's gonna be okay. Let's get her immediately to turn south, slow down, do all the different things to save her. Arminius limits flooding, that's very good to see. But yeah, let's get ahead of this one. Just as soon as she turns away, I'm gonna almost bring her to a complete stop. This Ribble's, I think, dead now. Yeah. So Eloy, let's have you switch targets to probably the perpetrator of these torpedoes. I don't exactly know how the torpedo launching works for the AI. Oh yeah, this is this is something to worry about. But we've definitely eliminated this Amazon. It's surely going down. Let's get you to hold fire for a little while. Or we could have you switch targets, but I'm, I'm actually more interested in having you put pressure on the enemy. Okay, so let's continue. Animal, Indy, yeah, all these are kind of irrelevant. You're launching torpedoes at the Constance. She's surely going down now. I mean, she's still not. <laughs> ah, strange. Amazon took another hit, but yeah, she is going down. Okay, so not much more to say about this. Let's get you to, your damage is actually pretty significant. I may actually fire all my torpedoes at the, wait, oh, this is the wrong, sorry, this is the wrong vessel.
There we go. G89, wasn't that the one? Let's fire torpedoes at her. Yeah. I don't know if those are going to hit. We missed the other one, surprisingly, but it's a good spread. Here we go. Factor of 77. Where's the cap, though? The cap is so close because I put them very close to each other, didn't I? Maybe not. Yeah, that's far enough away. In nautical miles, it is 10 nautical miles. Yeah, that, that's far enough away. Uh, I can expect them not to... So we'll just have to rely on the, the heavy um, anti-aircraft stuff. And these... Carriers also have 26 medium guns and 30 light guns, so there's a lot, a lot. I'm actually surprised that they're effective at bombing whatsoever. Especially this is three dive bombers, good luck. But there is a group of 20 also about to show up, so we'll see how that goes. But really, the cap from here should be merging pretty soon. Arminius is hit by another torpedo. So this must be, this This is the air torpedoes then. Because there's no way, there's no destroyers anywhere near her. The only one which possibly could do that um, would have launched many, many turns ago. So yeah, um, that's okay. Bring her to a stop. Hopefully we can save her. I hope, I hope we can. That looks good for the Luger. Okay, sounds like the cap's getting involved. It's not. Okay, one aircraft destroyed, two damage from 146. It's a lot. That's a very high number. Transport, fire, heavy anti-aircraft to attack an aircraft? Huh. And Wolfpack limits flooding? Did she get hit? Oh, she did get hit by a bomb. Must have been the previous turn. I must have missed that. Yeah, there it is. Woo! Took, took two hits, it looks like. But she's handling it okay, like a trooper. Yeah, we need to silence these uh, enemies, enemy carriers. And then we just... <laughs> then after that, I guess, and, you know, we've got to almost start doing this. We need to start bundling up around the transports as soon as we take down the, the carriers here. So there's at least two of them. I guess we're clearly identifying two flat tops. And you guys are now firing secondaries at these ships. That's very good. Turn away a little bit more. Okay, good. We finally did hit the Constance with the torpedo. She was dead anyway, but... Actually, you launched all your torpedoes at her? Okay, well, you might as well just continue on this way. You can act as an escort. Maybe as... Oh, yeah, you did. I see. Um, maybe as anti-aircraft support. Constance. Okay. Da, da, da. Where? This one's important. Because that's the one getting away. Hannibal. I'm waiting to see our aircraft just uh, do some stuff now. So the Blucher's still putting up a fight, which is good to see. Aircraft damaged, aircraft destroyed. This is a tight fight, though. How's Arminius doing? 500. Oh, Blucher's hit by a torpedo now. So we probably do need to push. I think we're just going to abandon the, the transports, form up into our little combat ball, and move to the southwest, or even just due west. I think that that's what our, what our plan is now. It's just, I think there's no possibility of actually trying to uh, get away from all this land-based aircraft. And it's kind of free fire for everyone down in the south. There's almost nothing, I mean, there is nothing alive down there. The only thing left is maybe two destroyers. So let's get you guys to stop firing. And just head north. We'll pick out a few. We'll kind of break into two groups. Infatigable was hit by a torpedo. Who launched it? Oh, yeah. Yeah, we did launch it. Okay, that's fine. I don't even know who did, but it doesn't really matter. Bar 4 is getting destroyed. Boyne, Prince of Wales. Okay, fine. And again, it's all eyes on this group right here. Okay. 
Okay, air combat. This is not correct. This is not supposed to be like this. <laughs> it says one fighter and cap. Really? I don't I really don't like this system. I want to be able to control more or have it just not be stupid. Either way, but yeah, it says right now we have one aircraft going up as cap. I don't like this. Wait, this is the wrong group. Let's get the right group. 13. Yeah, this cap is going up as a one. I don't know why they're doing that. I don't know what causes this to happen. I don't know anything about it, but it is not correct. Arc Royal, 30 knots. Gonna be hard to catch up to. At least it's gonna be hard for our ships to catch up to. Luckily, we do have aircraft on the way. So we'll see how that goes. Okay, it shoots down the cap. <laughs> yeah, that's not how that's supposed to go. <laughs> I'm just gonna let everyone open fire if they're down there. I just, you know, I can't, cannot be bothered to manage it. Where class is this a good, no, not, not the right one. Oops. Let's look at how the Arminius is doing. Okay, all right. I, she has plenty of time. 10,000 points remaining. She should survive. Oh, good, 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 good. Our planes are taking off now. Please do not attack that. Kill them. I will I will shoot them down with my own anti-aircraft guns if they go after that destroyer. So they, it's a very clear what their target should be. And no, no sane pilot, no flight lead, nobody would tell them to do anything but destroy the carriers. Like the mission briefing is this. We have spotted a group of two British carriers. All battleships are reported as damaged or destroyed. Forget those, go take out the aircraft carriers. That's the only thing you have to do is go take out the aircraft carriers. We will settle for nothing short than you taking out the aircraft. It's a very clear mission. And it's just like, don't even drop your ordnance unless you drop it on an aircraft carrier. Okay, what do we have here? Um, dive bomber is going against the arena, and she did take a hit. Boy, she's not in a good way. All right. Shoot, I just commanded the wrong person to turn. Um, I don't want these guys to sit and waste all their ammunition against destroyers, so I'm gonna do this. Free them up from that duty. The problem is we are gonna fight cruisers over here, so we, oh, the three. Three, three carriers. Yeah, this is mission critical. Go, 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 go. Pony, okay, we're taking a lot of hits here get you to slow down and just pull off the fight. We're going to get everyone to move west when they're getting injured. The new orders are just make your way to the west. We're going to abandon the transports. It's not very roleplay friendly. <laughs> I will have to come and think of another reason. Aloy, actually, I don't know how you're doing against this bear, but I would really be happy if you could eliminate her so that we don't have to worry about my own planes eliminating her. Okay, let's get to the blue crew to head south as well. These guys are just coming in to assist with the anti-aircraft, I guess I'll say. This way, this way. I don't even know what these guys are doing, but go this way. Um, again, go this way. I don't know what those guys are doing at all. It's just chaos. It's absolute chaos. Nobody knows what they're doing. All semblance of order has been completely lost and not too surprising right okay how many are attacking me here two dive bombers we're not expecting that to be very effective but these are obviously all the land-based aircraft coming in probably from the northern area 
we are going to abandon the transports. We're going to give the transports orders to pull back, and if the army chooses not to listen, heed our words, cannot be held responsible for the results. Okay, so... You guys head back this way, you guys head back this way, all good. Um, no, Eloy is going to keep chasing that one, but everyone else is going to start heading back west. We're going to pull back to the west. Why west? Well, go figure. We don't want to be attacked by the aircraft. <laughs> southwest if we can. West-southwest is probably the appropriate designation for the, the orders I want to give. And it's going to be very difficult for us to finish this mission now since we have the carriers in our sight. Almost literally in our sight. This is a lot of aircraft we're coming up against. I'm kind of curious how many air bases they have here. So we actually have a lot of flying boats and medium bombers. All this stuff is actually over the target. I I see now what well, I now see the big advantage of focusing on destroying enemy um, aircraft uh, airfields. So we have some people approaching enemy ships. I almost dropped an F bomb. F. Oh my gosh, no. I really, I really hate this game sometimes. Oh, I really hate this game. I really, really hate this game. I don't know how to deal with this. <laughs> They're gonna attack dead ships. Okay, I mean, it's not great, but what are you gonna do? <laughs> I'm just, I'm just deflated. Oh my gosh, are you kidding me? Mm. Okay, just go back and sink her very, very quickly. Just sink them very, very, very quickly. Just launch your torpedoes at the bar floor. Hopefully as fast as possible. Remove them from the map. I hate this game. Oh, it's so frustrating. Oh my gosh, you guys just, you all, I'm going to murder you all. I am going to murder you all. We're gonna launch all our torpedoes at these remaining ships in the hopes that they sink. <laughs> sink them before the uh, <laughs> before the aircraft get to them. Okay, so let's turn you, do you have any torpedoes left? Zero, and I think you also don't have any torpedoes left. You do. Can you launch? For some reason, yes. Okay, we're gonna get this guy to not run into those torpedoes. God, please stop this. I, I, do you realize I launched from here? The mission target was here, and they are attacking this. Frederick, please. Please help. Please, Frederick, please. Please. Oh, my God. It's just horrible. All right, well, we're getting too deep now. We're absolutely going to have to allow these guys to fire. Oh, uh, man. Okay, let's go. Let's go. Eventually, they're going to run out of place to retreat. Oh, man. All the torpedo bombers are going this way, too. Oh, shoot. Fire torpedoes. Sink them quickly. All right. And let's just pull out of here. I, I just... I'm not going to be able to kill the carriers. Because you don't have competent pilots. You don't have pilots who can listen to reason or have any reason their, themselves. <sighs> Okay, so continue to launch at the Hannibal. Sturmbringers on the other side, but we don't care. In fact, Sturmbringer is going to launch at the Hannibal. It's on the wrong side. Okay, fine. It's a perfect opportunity for us to turn around and aim at the bar floor. She's even engaging this indefatigable because she knows that the other two are sinking, but. 
Somehow that message does not get through to the others. I don't even know if these are torpedo hits from us. Okay, that one surely is. And the Prince of Wales, I think, just launched. Okay, those are those are torpedoes from ships. Because at this point, the we don't know what the um, aircraft are doing. However, besides the ones who are really making a beeline, if you're not making a beeline up, you got to make a beeline to the west. So we nailed the Prince of Wales. We'll actually maybe get you guys to head down here to the indefatigable. Um, bunch of destroyers. Sturmbringer is going to go up, attack the bar floor. Yeah, and then these guys need to turn here. Are you recovering or something? Now, at this point, I think these are... Oh, no, those are legitimate torpedoes launched by destroyers. I mean, I think. Carlton, let's go this way. Is it possible to get up to the carriers? There's a lot of aircraft, a lot of stuff happening. It might even be their air bases way over there that are doing this. All right, let's... 42 minutes. I just... It's impossible. I can't do it. I don't know how. <laughs> Do you have any torpedoes? Because, hell, just launch them. Really? Okay, turn sharply. Whatever. Close. I, I wasted a minute just trying to line up a destroyer on a sinking ship. I feel like a fool. Ah, but here's the real fight. Um, I wish I could give an order to save your main ammunition. They're almost in range. They're almost there. And we've peeled this group off, so at least we can lop off one carrier. The Hermes is 21,900. The Arc Royale is oh, identical. Okay, well, that doesn't help us make up our minds, but you guys to head back this way. Um, we're bombing, oh my gosh. Wait, that's closer. We're getting closer. <laughs> I'm happy because we're getting a little bit closer. <laughs> I'll take a, any kind of movement in the right direction. And yeah, otherwise I just, so we've got to get out of here. Okay, what is going on here? We have three bombing us. Gotta get everyone to group up to the west, to the west, to the west. Eloy, you did your best, just go ahead and head west. Southwest, just get everyone to go southwest. At this point, at 20 knots, let's say. This way, 20 this way, Blucher. I don't know how you're doing, doing okay. How's the Arminius? She is not flooding anymore. Okay, Arminius, then make your way under maybe eight knots. And Blucher herself is doing okay as well. Fantastic. Get you down to 16. Everyone start pulling away. Let's get out of here. I don't think the Donuts is gonna move either. Yeah, let's send her away at cruise speed this way as well. Surely you... Yeah, surely you are going to make your way very slowly out of here as well. I'm going to chance 10 knots with you just because you're a little bit more exposed. Get you out of there a little bit quicker. And get you guys to be down here. Clearly breaking into two groups now. Okay, what's happening? Another bomb hit on this fox skiff. She's doing okay. She's already at 8 knots, so she's ready to repair any flooding. Um, that's the only thing that happened, actually. There's so many sunk ships. We actually did more or less sink everything. <laughs> uh, you know what? Target this indefatigable right next to you because I think you'll be able to hit it a lot. And I want you to just melt it. Sturmbringer's hit by a torpedo. Huh. She's been hit by three torpedoes, but they I think they were all air-launched, so... Things could be worse, maybe. 
I guess that's what was happening. I didn't see the report last minute. I mean, look, we can look a minute ago. Shlok Skiff. I don't see any report about them approaching. God. Oh my god, they're bombing the bar floor. Oh my god, stop. Okay, 45 minutes. Let's go. Come on, push a little bit further. I feel I'm feeling the pressure. <laughs> We have a good group heading north. I'm, I'm happy with all this group. 25, that's fantastic. You guys are welcome. Uh, Rena, no. You're going to be turned around. And the Rhine as well. Turn you guys both around. Get you head down this way. Yeah, they're just... There's so many aircraft coming at us. Uh, yeah, the Koenig did light that one up in the end. And by all means, feel free to. We're sinking a bunch of these already sinking ships. Oh, that one's not already sinking. Oh, uh, that's why. We only hit her with one shot. You know if we only hit him with one shot, then it must not be already sinking. Gotterfuken has actually gotten all the way in to, and wedged themselves between these two. There's hope. I'm going to once again disable the gunfire for this one. Doesn't look like she's used any main ammunition against the destroyers, which is nice, but... Okay, here we go. Glide bombing attack. No, no, dive bomb on the... Oh, well, that's that's a good place for them to be. Because that is a group of well-armed destroyers. I mean, uh, cruisers. Yep, the Stockholschwein. So that's a that's a very good... I'm glad that they chose that target. It's helpful to me. Not going to worry about this one, as I said. And the Tirpitz I've, is the only one I forgot to give orders to to turn west. Okay. They're still going. Three aircraft damaged. Foxhound, Constance, Boyne. And, okay, whatever. Oxhoft and New Road are both avoiding torpedoes. Very well done. Very well done. Is this Boeing, by the way, already sinking? I don't think so. She's actually intact. Kind of a funny state of affairs, or that we actually got caught up and then... <gasps> we have some! Some have gotten through! Nine dive bombers and nine torpedo bombers. Okay, this is good news. This is, this is really something. And you're working on that one. You're working on that one. This is working. These two have cleared a path for my battleships. We're through. The foyer drockers are doing their job. They're the only ones who have the speed to chase down these these uh, carriers. And not even and only barely at that. Okay. Well, this is exciting. It's we have two more minutes. We can go two more minutes. Come on. Come on. Get there. Okay. Wedge. Dr throw yourself in. You can see things are... We have actually bifurcated. <laughs> Everything is either going north or it's heading south-southwest. Which is exactly how it should be, by the way. I think you're picking up survivors. I'll let you do that. But we don't need people flying down at 35 knots or whatever. 20 knots is the standard, if you don't mind. Let's all standardize our movement. In fact, we kind of want to glump, glump up a little bit so that we're just a big ball. So we're going to try to do that. Just get everyone to move more or less in the same direction. Hopefully I don't have somebody accidentally ram into one of the sinking ships. That would be really embarrassing. Um, so you're turning back, so you're doing some kind of launching or whatever. That's fine. So we actually eliminated the only threat that remained in this area, which was that last destroyer. Oh, wait. One might have slipped off to the west or to the east still, but I don't think so. Anyway. And you're heading back, and you're heading back. Good, 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 good. Get you down to 20. And you're also heading back. Fantastic. Okay, so moving on. Here we go. This is Boeing class. It's amazing these things are even still float, really. <laughs> um, yeah, so you guys are actually part of the group that's headed north, I think. Or I'm, I can make the decision. So yes, you are part of the group that will head north. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. The cap is functioning. Where is this cap? I don't know. This is the... It must be the cap here. Eight? I don't see the enemies, but somewhere around here, they must, they must be here. Um, okay, anyway, there's 10 friendly cap taking on 20 dive bombers. 
and actually it went uh, unfortunately very even two and two we could really got to get better fighters our fighters should not be going even with dive bombers unescorted dive bombers it should be a turkey shoot that's embarrassing I'm expecting my dive bombers and things to be shot down just the same way it's not working that way yet Okay, by the way, Blucher, you're at speed and you're fine, but let's look at the Arminius. How's she doing? Controlled flooding, max speed 14. We'll get her up to 10 because we do want these guys to get out of here quickly. Uh, your flooding is still at 10. We're going to keep you at 6 then. You'll have to catch up later. It's just it's the only way it's going to work. Okay, continue. Unfortunately, I think that's an airplane hitting the... Oh, yep. Damn. Thought maybe not, but nope. Yep, it is. Okay. Um, so close to being able to engage them. And we've actually broken the Hermes off entirely. Single-handedly. So, you know what? We have a pair of battleships. Which are going to hold fire until they can get to the target. And that is the target. Okay, this is pretty simple now. I know we're at 51 minutes, but I want to make some good progress here. Ah, we're we're actually doing it. The caps we're in, we're they only have one cap, so it's the same thing. Why does it say six? Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! We found them. Oh, we got the other air carriers, and it's a land-based aircraft which are going there. That's amazing, amazing. Okay, there, there, there's I. We gotta keep playing this. They're approaching. Yeah, they didn't do anything. So we have six. That's not, you know, necessarily gonna work out. But we'll try our best with these flying. <laughs> flying boats are not necessarily the best option for using bombs, but if we can get lucky. Only all we need to do is get lucky, and these guys are going to run out of space eventually. Do also have two tor or nine torpedo bombers chasing them. So you guys, yeah, okay, this is good. Okay, this is this is good. All right, um, this is what I would expect a cap to do. Twelve shooting down three, like this is makes more sense. Even though these uh, flying boats, I think they have like twelve firepower. It's something crazy, but. That's just what you expect, right? So, yeah, we'll get them to organize up here. In fact, I might even get them to just actually all clutter. I might have to reorganize the actual um, division organization stuff um, off camera. But this is what I want. I want everyone cluttering over here. And then we'll just be a big glob and we're going to move all together. Okay, that's good. Can't help with the what the rest are doing, but okay. More are approaching stuff. Another bomb hit on the Kaiser Ping. Oh no, wait, that's not. That one hasn't been hit yet. That's a fine choice for them to bomb, in my opinion. Uh, yeah, we're actually moving over here. This carrier actually turns out. So we're gonna get you to head east as well, which means it's up to the Graf von Eisen and the von Tufelschiff to single-handedly track down the two carriers heading north. The only hope we have is one destroyer, which can go 33 knots, and a light cruiser, which can go 31 knots. That's that's what we're, what we're relying on here. Is this Ribble? I think this one's still intact. It is. I don't know what she's going to try to do, but we'll let her try to do it. So we'll get you to go north, you to go south, and we'll try to... See if we can head off this carrier group. All right. The three remaining shot down two more. See, this is what I expect to happen. I can't, there it goes. It was a little bit too wide. 54 minutes, we'll go a little bit longer. So. Surprise, okay, so. Yeah, one shot down. It was one against two, and they still shot to one. This is what I expect, by the way. So 
So I hope my cap just fall, at least follows suit. Or maybe our old aircraft are just too old. I don't know what exactly is happening. But... Okay. Unidentified ch No! You gotta be kidding me. After all that... After that big lead-up, you attacked the wrong ship? Still have those torpedo bombers up there. Okay. One cap, one against... Yeah, that's obviously not going to work very well. Um, oh, four dive bombers, dive bomb the Constance. Well, at least we're getting closer. We're working our way. Actually, let's have you target this Constance because... I would like to eliminate her as a potential target ASAP. I will actually do the same with you. If whenever you're capable, please eliminate that Constance. Okay, and I guess we're just gonna have to call this episode to a close. I'm not gonna take us over an hour. So we need one more episode. It's exciting at least we have a chance to catch their carriers. We are definitely gonna catch some of their carriers thanks to the really outstanding efforts of the Gauter if you can the goat if you can the goat got 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 mine got got if you can i don't know um yeah so at least we have a couple aircraft or a couple of ships capable of tracking down these carriers and that's i mean that's a good thing so for now i'm going to bring this to a close thanks for watching and until the next episode by the way just to give you a plan for the future uh we're going to finish this battle Try to finish this war, and then the series will come to a close because there's actually yet another patch out. Hopefully fixing some of this nonsense with the aircraft, but we'll see. I'll read the patch notes and then let you guys know. Until then, thanks for watching, and take care.